Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry, a fan channel where everything Dragalia Lost can be found. This video is all about our new event, Rage of Kronos, which features two characters from Rage of Bahamut. We have the Vampire Vania and the God of War Grimnir. The event just started today and it's sort of like a mini collab. It is another side games franchise, so these characters that are being added are part of the permanent summoning pool, but there is a higher level of effort and interest in this event compared to other typical raid events in Dragalia Lost. I checked out the story today and played through the content we have so far, so I'm going to share some of that in this video, specifically in the second half because I want to start us off by talking about, in the context of this event, some news that we have that is pertinent to all Dragalia Lost players and also relates to a Golden Week celebration that is happening right now. So in case you're not aware of this, I think the most important thing for me to point out is that you really want to play this event in order to obtain a Dream Summon Voucher. We've never had anything like this in Dragalia Lost for free-to-play players, but Dream Summons are basically where you get to choose an adventure or dragon of your choice. And this being a free-to-play voucher, it's a little limited. These are characters that appeared through May of last year, so they've been around in the permanent pool for a while now. But I'm still missing some adventures and dragons from this list, so I would imagine a lot of you out there are as well. You can read the full list here, or if you play through the event, once you get 5,000 gold emblems, you can get the voucher for yourself. You don't have to use it immediately, but you can go ahead and collect it. And since we also have a promotion running right now with free daily summons, just in case, although it's unlikely, just in case, I would suggest redeeming this after you do your free summons, because what if you happen to get that one character that you were otherwise going to dream summon for? That would be pretty bad. So I think that you may want to wait, but of course, if you're passionate about one of these adventures, I've seen people who are already at 5,000 gold emblems and day one, they got the character they wanted. So this is super cool. We were wondering once we saw Vania was going to be gotcha, who the raid welfare character would be that all players get for free. Well, it's basically your choice this time around because we have this Dream Summon voucher and the fact that they call this the Spring 2021 lineup, who knows, maybe going forward we're going to have this on a regular basis with each season. That'd certainly be really sweet. We also found out as part of a broader Golden Week celebration here that we're having a regular Dream Summon which is paid only but is going to include a lot more adventurers that have released since the second half of last year onward. So, that is also going to be available. I think they mentioned it here. It's coming on the 30th. So that's really sweet. Two adventures of your choice if you're willing to spend enough for a tenfold summon. These are very affordable. They're one of the more reasonable purchases I feel in Dragalia Lost that is actually worth going for because you get a guaranteed character of your choice as well as a tenfold summon voucher for the future. So this is absolutely cool to see. Other than that, we find out a lot of uh, a lot of other stuff, you know, Platinum Showcase, the events here. There's a login bonus, yada, 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 kind of the usual here, upgrade events. Every regular uh, event nowadays has upgrade events associated with it, so I don't consider these particularly special, although our stamina costs have been recently reduced, so that's kind of cool. If you're still working on things like rupees, etc., then these are reasonable, but I think that you're still better off with the end game content. Although, you know, they have the advanced dragon trials and Agito Uprising co-op double drops in there as well, so... That's going to be worth checking out. Ascent to Eminence is returning. That's just a farming event that's coming back. So uh, yeah, quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, Daily Free Summons I talked about. Gala Dragalia is live now with Vania and Gala Reborn Agni. We talked about that in the previous video. The Platinum Showcase. Usual reminder on this. It shows Child Ronzel and it shows Forest, but those are two of the many possible options. The pool here includes all of the five star flame adventures these that are shown and depicted are just some of them and it is random who you get so that is the contrast between a platinum summon versus a dream summon where you actually get to select let's see if we missed anything else just scrolling along here all right so i suppose we should probably talk about the new worm prints too so let's talk about those bloody little queen another wand worm print this time providing critical rates it feels a little bit harder lately to fit in all these 5 star worm prints, but as we get more and more elements with their additional worm print slots, this should become easier to do and I could see this fitting in reasonably well onto wand adventurers. 
Advent of the War God, Wind Flurry Devastation plus 12%. We've seen this in some other elements such as Water and Shadow with Prince of Dragon Yule and Howling to the Heavens. So this is also a pretty reasonable print. For Flame, they actually get this print at 4 star with To the Extreme. So again, kind of hard to justify spending a 5 star slot on, but sometimes that will be your go-to print. So reasonable prints all around. I don't think you have to go out of your way to pick them up necessarily because they should be permanent, but uh, they look okay. And uh, as I mentioned, the login bonus, upgrade events happening. We had our version update go live for all players and a an update within the update as of today. In the treasure trade, you can exchange your looking glasses for certain items and also stamina costs have been reduced by like 40% in some cases on a lot of daily quests, which frees up stamina to further grind or collect things like Draconic Essences. And Thor's Trial is back in Trials of the Mighty. So yeah, I think that's about it as far as just random news. Let's talk about the Rage of Kronos event itself. And this is one of the big things. This special Endeavor bonus that you get for your dailies and that you collect uh, just by playing certain quests lets you do this Roar of the Mad Cyclone battle which is really lucrative for farming, and it's similar to what we had this past New Year. I think the special item that you used for farming that time was called Tofu, and you'd battle against Kuzunaha and it'd have really good rewards. We're gonna start off just by checking out the raid battle and then we'll switch over to that, but I'll start to get into some of my story thoughts on this raid. Overall, I really like the story for this. It was pretty simple, but Vania is quickly endearing. Melinda appearing in the form of Kronos was, uh, or Kronos appearing in the form of Melinda, I guess, I don't know, was a little bit obvious, but so it goes with, uh, with Yudin, you know, this is still Gen 1 Yudin, not even in his gala form, was a little surprised when they were talking about him having human blood, since obviously we know that to be, uh, to be otherwise at this point, but yeah, it was a pretty straightforward event. Grimnir, as a character I had never met before, I now get why so many people are a fan of him. Definitely get some Carl vibes from Grimnir with just how grandiose he wants to be, but Carl is sort of all in on it and never relents and is usually pretty good with his uh, ridiculous lines. The fact that Grimnir tries and doesn't always succeed and doubts himself just makes it all the more fun, so I think that he's a very fun character too. We didn't really get a lot of development on the Rose Queen, so we just met her in the woods, don't know a lot about how she works, but uh, overall pretty standard fare for a Dragalia Lost event. I am hoping to see a little bit more in the epilogue just to see how things get resolved. One thing that struck me as interesting was they talked about how if, uh, if Kronos came back in time and defeated Vania, that in the future when she's in her Vampire Queen form, it would be, she would be diminished in power. Not necessarily stop existing, but be diminished in power. One thing I wonder about is like, why is Kronos interested in the past Yudin in our world? Because if he defeats him, isn't his liege gonna get diminished in power from the future timeline? I can't say that I really understand the exact mechanics of how it works, but I'll just leave it at that. That was just the thought I had was like, I get the interest in Yudin, you know, maybe as completing the puzzle piece, so to speak, but uh, if you defeat Yudin in battle, isn't your future liege going to be diminished? That's what I don't understand. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do this one on autoplay, one time speed. You saw me switch to the gold Fafnirs there, you're going to want to equip those for this quest because if it's anything like the New Year's quest, we'll see in just a moment, but it should give a good amount of rupees here. And uh, yes, Grimnir looks fantastic. In-game portrait, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, wait, where is he? Oh, he's not here yet, that's why. It's a wave-based battle, right. So we'll defeat these waves, and then we should get to see him at the end. This is just an easy battle to give rewards. A little sad we don't actually get to see him fight, though. But you can see him kind of kneeling down there. We've got a legendary drop. I think that's probably standard on these, because there's a limited amount of these items to do this with. So let's see what we got. We got some power-ups. Oh, looks like looks like you don't get the rupees anymore. So I take back uh, what I said earlier. So we don't get a lot of rupees, but you do get a lot of emblems from this and you get honey and ashes, which can be used to play other content, which is really good for farming. And we got a twinkling sand, so, or a twinkling grain. I think it was the sand. All right, and that's all the content that's available so far. Basically the raid battle, 
Didn't really talk about it, but one cool thing with the raid battle is that uh, the mechanics are actually different. And so I appreciate if Kronos Nyx is going to come back, I kind of like the idea of bosses coming back with unique attack patterns compared to just reskinning them and pretending like it's a totally different boss, right? And like a different storyline, but the same type of imagery for the boss or the same look. So I kind of prefer this way. Just bring us Kronos back. He doesn't have to be called Aether. But now he has some new moves up his sleeve, so it should make it fun going into Nightmare and eventually Omega as far as the challenge level goes. One other thing with this event is, if you didn't see here, because there's no welfare character, all these basic characters get perks, all the story characters, and Vania also gets perks. Maybe Grimnir will too when he gets released. So that's another thing to point out if you're struggling with this at all or just thinking about how you want to build your teams. Let's go ahead and go in here and collect uh, some of this good stuff. So we're gonna just accept it all. And I think we should be done with our dailies here. So you get like one of these just from your dailies, which is nice. So we'll accept that. No rupees on anymore, but still very much worth it for the farming. And finally, just to show this in case you, uh, again, in case you missed this, this is what you're aiming for to get that dream summon voucher to choose a character that you want to add to your collection. I just think that's really awesome. Anyway, y'all, I think that is pretty much going to do it for today. So let me know how you've been enjoying the Rage of Kronos event so far. Otherwise, thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.